I think one of the challenges we face as we've moved our uh, next generation LTKs to the first line setting, um, with patients have done much better, but when they do progress, I don't think there's a, a clear path forward. Um, I think some, uh, you could argue for chemotherapy, which has a response rate of around 40, 45% six progression free survival six, eight months. <laughs> Uh, you could uh, also use loratinib, which is a, a approved in this setting with a response rate around 40% and a progression-free survival around eight months. And importantly, a high rate of CNS uh, activity there. And then I think the real debate in the field is what is the role of uh, repeat uh, tumor biopsy or ctDNA biopsy, and can we select patients based on their either the presence or absence of an ELK mutation or the specific ELK mutation. And, I think that's really where the uh, field wants to go with more personalized care in the resistance setting at this point, because it's not really clear what the best strategy is. I think also we talk a lot about the ELK mutations, but up to 50% of patients will not have an ELK mutation, where that's due to the insensitivity of our testing methods, and they do have one, and we, we just, uh, it was below our ability to detect, or they are truly uh, have ELK independent uh, mechanisms of resistance is a, a, another big question that uh, necessitates further investigation.